my name is Tremaine Bowman. I am a musician from Hillsboro, North Carolina. My band is a five-piece band. Um, we're kind of all over the place, but it pretty much started in Hillsboro. Um, my journey in music pretty much started when I was, uh, I want to say like 13. Um, it kind of kicked off. It, it, it started when I was 13 because of something that happened when I was eight years old. Um, when I was eight years old, I used to play a lot of Xbox, and I um, I wanted something on my Xbox, and I couldn't afford it. My mom couldn't either. So uh, she told me to grab a toy guitar and go sit out on the sidewalk and like play guitar, and you know we'll see if I can make enough money to um, get what I wanted on my Xbox. And so um, yeah, so I grabbed this guitar, I like wrote a, like short song, and I. Um, Went and sat on the sidewalk and I would play songs whenever people was like coming close enough to hear it. Uh, a couple of people like walked past me and stuff, and then there was this lady who was walking down the street. Um, and so I started playing my song and singing and stuff. And she was the one person that stopped. She listened to me for a little bit, and then she gave me a dollar, and we became friends ever since then. And then when I turned 13, she gave me a little card that had like a bat code on it because I was really into Batman. And it was like. T13 and she told me to go up to her house, knock on the door, and her husband would give me a free guitar lesson. I go in, I have my first guitar lesson, and I knew right then that that was the only thing I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Anyway, so around like October 13, 2021, my mom ended up passing away. And my mom was with my mom whenever she passed away. And she told me and my brother that my mom took her last breath at 7.23 in the morning. And then a week after that, uh, me and the band were at this place called Lojo. We were scheduled to go on stage at like 7.45. He was like, we gotta go on early. I was like, okay, cool. What time is it? So I pulled out my phone, I checked the time, and it's 7.23. And as soon as I saw that, we had called on stage. We go on stage and like, you know, we're standing there. And leading up to this, Gabriel knew all of this backstory, how 7.23 was just a number that keeps popping up and stuff. So the organizer of the event, he had uh, asked me, you know, he's about to introduce us, uh, do we have a band name yet? Um, and I said no. And then Gabriel was sitting behind the drum set and was like, bro, just say 723. So I was like, alright, fine, 723. And then he introduced us to the crowd, it was, here y'all are, where 723 is going to play a couple songs for y'all, and then ever since then we've been 723. So much that I want to accomplish through music within like you know connection with people um you know I feel like there's so much like craziness that goes on in the world and I feel like there's little things like music that can help you like kind of main like reconnect with yourself and like refocus on your own life and stuff like that and I feel like music does that a lot for me you know being a kid growing up in Hillsboro you feel like yeah kind of like no one's really paying attention to you and stuff and you're just in a small spot, but you can make it out of whatever type of situation that you're coming from. Um, just with like hard work and like perseverance. You know, I always think about the way like older musicians make me feel like Jim Croce and stuff, um, listening to their music. It's like, you know, the words that they describe and like put out in the universe when they were alive. Like I listen to them now, like almost 50 years later. And it's like, you know, I feel so connected to that. I feel so understood, you know? Like I started out as like a 13 year old kid playing like guitar in like the school courtyard and stuff like that. No one knew who I was. No one cared about me. Like, you know, I would ask people, okay, could I join their bands? They would like ghost me and stuff. It just never worked, but I kept my faith. I kept believing myself. Met my best friend, you know, he loves me. I love him. That's like my musical soulmate. Um, and we just kept doing it, kept doing it. You know, met his sister and we met Brandon and Brian and stuff. And uh, yeah, and now we have a thing going and like all of us we just all believe in ourselves and each other and I feel like people can see that and it just constantly like really like pushes our um, music forward I have like a couple of songs out now but there's so much that like I have so much of a story to tell it's like you know I'm not you you can listen to my music and you can get an idea of it but like there's so much more that I uh, have to say and stuff like that so I want by the time I do what I want to do um, I want it to mean like, you know, a lot to people. I want it to be like an anchor for somebody and stuff like that. And if somebody's having a really hard time and they feel like, you know, nobody understands them, I want them to be able to listen to my music and know like, you know, I feel like how you feel. Like you're not alone. Like, you know, I want people to like be able to listen to it and feel like they have somebody. But I also want people to be able to listen to it and just be happy and like, you know, go jump rope or something like that. I just wanted to be like, you know, a, an escape for people. So music means uh, everything to me. I feel like music is therapy. I feel like music is honesty. Music is love. If I could go back and say something to my younger self, I think I would say, you know, just uh, don't worry about so much about fitting in. Just worry about being yourself because, like, you being yourself will just, uh, it'll inspire people and it'll, like, help people more than you trying to fit in will. It'll all work out. Just, you know, make sure you believe in yourself because that's, like, the number one thing. Um, 
But uh, yeah, and don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing because you can do anything you want to do. And if somebody can do something, you can do it 10 times better if you really want to. So believe in yourself. So I just hope it's a tale of love and community and uh, reaching people through music. That's the story I hope that 723 has, is the impact it was able to have on people's hearts. But yeah.